Number 15, Clemson, travels to Florida State Saturday, 7 p.m. on ESPN. Clemson's a 14-point favorite. Florida State is reeling off of a blowout loss at SMU. And, of course, Clemson feeling great. I even saw back. I saw a graphic today putting Cade Klumnik in the Heisman conversation. I was like, what? What, what are you Why doing? Not? Why not? It's amazing to think. And, Mac, I want to share this fun fact about Clemson because Come on. we have always talked about, at least not always, I would say the last year or two, that Clemson just doesn't cover. They just don't cover. <laughs> well, intern Nick has some great nuggets here. Nick's nuggets, what we're going to call it. And uh, Clemson is 7-2 and two against the spread in their last nine games. I would not that? have guessed that. I would absolutely not have guessed that. They are also 5-1 and one against the spread in their last mm-hmm. six games against Florida State. So wow. think about that one, Mac. I wonder what the one was. What does that go back to? Is that I, last to year? Me, was Clemson favored last year? My guess, uh, I don't think so. My guess would have remember. been the weirdly close game in Death Valley. I want to say a couple of years ago, DJ U.S. quarterback in Florida State. Yeah. I mean, Clemson literally escapes. I think yeah. that would have been the game. Will I want Shipley to say has it. the game-winning touchdown. Ship yeah, happens. Maybe Is that when Ship happens was born? Yeah, 2021. Yeah. Maybe. That's maybe. Nice. That's, prob- that's probably a good call. Because that was when they were not covering. <laughs> so that probably yeah. is it. That probably makes yeah. a lot of sense. Um, can I be quite honest? Can I be like really Please. real f- with you for a second? I am so disappointed with the going into this game vibe. I am I so sad that this game like sucks and no one cares. It, like there's worse. no bets on the line with some of my comrades. I'm not going to call anybody out. Wait, there's no, no, one, Mac, no one's approached you for any sort of betting action? What are you going to bet? What, what's the bet? Am I giving out 20 points? Like, what are we doing? Yeah, embarrassing. Oh. We're not giving out points here. Um, no, I would. I totally would. You know what's funny? Actually, I'll tell you this off here. I'm not going <laughs> to spew the world for them to know. I'll tell you this later. Uh, but I am disappointed because I thought this was going to be a great game. I thought it was going to be a chance to be kind of a playoff type game. Similar, Very, very similar to what we thought from Virginia Tech and Miami. Now, that game ended up being great. If this game ends up being like that, I will be physically sick and not be well. So it better not be. This this might be a you better not game. Just the number. Just the number alone. Probably not. Probably not. We'll see. Clemson, Florida State, and then you better not? Oh, my goodness. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that sick? These guys are just plummeted. Makes me want to puke. Anyway, uh, (laughs) excited for Clemson. Excited for them to get back out there. Uh, First road game. First true road game. Excuse me. They were at a neutral site. uh, Game one, obviously. So, and they didn't do great, right? If we want to talk about being on the road, that was a little different thing, though. Um, so excited to see, does this show travel? Um, you know, what, what are they going to look like? I assume that place is still going to be packed. I know the construction. I know the, the woes of the season, but it, it's a big-time deal, right? Like, I would expect that place to be popping um, and to be a great environment for them. You know, obviously, you've got a new starter coming in. You know, DJU not yeah. available to go. His hand is is hurt. Maybe a broken finger on his throwing hand, I think. And now Brock Glenn gets to come in, um, <laughs> who's been put in the weirdest situations. Uh, ACC championship game, Georgia. So and now, congrats. You get a Clemson Tiger team that's oh, finding God. their footing. So have fun with that. Um, you know, and honestly, I don't know what I would do if I were them. You know, if he comes in there and can't get the ball away or can't make decisions quick enough, I'm probably going wildcat and I'm putting my guys in there. I'm going the best of athlete that I can. And I'm trying to get a numbers game. And we saw Syracuse or excuse me, Stanford rush really well against Clemson. Um, I would get creative in a hurry if things aren't going the way that I want them to. Um, Interesting to see does Peter Woods play. Um, I think that defensive end, especially in regards to contain, I hope so, especially in containing, you know, the plays and getting upfield has not been good the last couple of games, specifically against Stanford. Um, thought the linebacker play was very good. Obviously thought defensive back play was elite uh, and on another level and, and probably where I thought that unit could get in a hurry. Um, so this is a bit of a get-right game for the defense. And then offensively, want to see them run the ball better. I thought that Stanford did a really good job last week of flowing to the football, scraping over the top and making plays. You know, going into – or coming out of the game, Kelly, I thought the Clemson offensive line did not play good. And it was so funny because I was just getting so excited and talking well about (laughs) it. And then that happens. But after watching it, 
I don't really think that was the case. It was a little bit of tight ends fault. It was a little bit of just numbers. Mm. You just didn't have the numbers, you know, to do it. So I, I actually thought they played pretty well um, <laughs> as a unit up front. And then just Kate continuing to get the ball out to his guys. Um, these receivers are so dynamic. It does make me feel good though. Uh, you know, cause it's felt like for two years and I'm sorry, I'm rambling at this point, no, you're but good. for two years, KG people have, have been pleading with me. You don't, you don't think Clemson needs to go in the portal and get a wide receiver. You don't think they need to. And I'm like, listen, I can see the guys are there. We just got to get them the football. And yeah. that's been the case. That's been the case at this point, close your eyes and point. Clemson has explosive elite playmakers anywhere you want on the perimeter. And it's, it's good to see that. It's fun to see that especially, you know, just looking like the teams that, you know, went on that unbelievable dynastic run that Clemson did. And they're healthy. That's All that's healthy. a big part of it, too. The wide receivers are healthy. Mac, I, you bring up an interesting point. Cade Klubnick has really, besides the neutral site, which it wasn't real, it was very pro-Clemson, ACC championship game, he struggled on the road. And I would say yeah. the neutral site bowl game last year against Kentucky. He has struggled on the road. So this is the next step for Cade. Like, Let's yeah. prove that we're different. You've played great at home and yep. against these defenses. And I know Florida State's defense has not looked great, but they still have dudes, right? It's definitely you're the strength the of their team by yeah, far. For sure. For sure. Um, you're on the road. Let's see how Cade can look in that situation, Mac. And yeah. I'll add this too about Florida State. Florida State, weirdly, since the book game, which we all know what I'm talking about. And since the 2020 game that did not happen, we don't have to go into that. So 21, 22, 23, obviously they beat Clemson last year. But even before that, Florida State had kept these games close. In the 21 and 22 games, the one I referenced earlier, Florida State really had no business being in those games. But they were, mm -hmm. even the game in Tallahassee in 22. So that's just something to keep in mind. It feels like Florida State keeps these games close even when they're not necessarily supposed to. And, of course, last year get, got that win. Mac, this is another nugget from intern Nick. Clemson is attempting to avoid being beaten by the same team in back-to-back -back years since Florida State did so from 2012 to 2014 and beat them three times in a row. So Clemson has not lost to a single team in consecutive years since that stretch. And you think of losing wow. to NC State the year before, beat NC State this year. So that's mm. something to keep in mind too. I think 14 is actually a pretty small number when you look at this. If this, and I know this game's at Florida State, I'm not sure how packed it will be, Mac, to be honest. I thought this number would be more like 17 and a half, something like that. So even though these games have been closer lately, and the flip side is Clemson's been covering, I'm going to take Clemson to cover. I think 14's pretty low. Kelly, let me just remind you, you are a lot of people's favorite non-null. You might no longer really? be that. I am? You might just have... They tell us that all the time. You might not you. be anymore. I thought that was well, you. I guess it is because I think they're going to show up and make it difficult for this really? team. But I don't think it matters. I think they absolutely cover. I think Clemson uh -oh. wins by 21. I mean, I think they blow these dudes out. Um, but we'll see. The road thing is a factor. It really is. And it, it'll be interesting. How much have they grown from that? How much do we get to see? But when I just see the want to, I just see the rosters – it's, these aren't in the yeah. same category right now. They're not in the same well, category. So, but we'll see. You got to play the game. You got to play the game. Especially with throwing Bar Brock Lynn out there. You know, at least from DJ, you kind of knew what you were going to get. And it is a bummer we don't get the DJ Clemson return matchup because that's a cool storyline. Back, I, I also have to was really looking forward to it. I know. <laughs> I have questions about how how the environment is because I think if you have, let's say, wow. you have two terrible drives, you have two terrible drives to start. Boo birds or Exodus or both? I'm worried. I'm, I mean, I'm not saying we're going to see the book man again, but I'm just, I'm not, I, I don't think it's going to be that tough of an environment. I'll put it that way.